Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and Kitty. <gasps> uh, I still have not come up with a name for him, you guys, but look at him. <gasps> look how cute he is. I'm leaning towards Echo. I think that's a cute name. What do you think, baby? Uh, obsessed with him. And he is super excited for a sassy girl aroma haul, and so am I. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is probably the smallest haul from Sassy Girl Aroma that I have placed since I started ordering from her and becoming a Sassy Girl Aroma hoarder in my house. I only ordered, I'm picking out from the basket, 15 brittles. So I have them, and look how beautiful the colors are. I have 15 brittles and my two samples here. So as always, we will start with the two samples. And the first one I got is Taffeta. And I looked this up on her Facebook group because it's not a currently offered fragrance. And it is a dupe for Seaside Woods from Yankee Candle. Always has to be a truck in my video. And uh, this scent, it's a very, very creamy, woodsy fragrance without being overtly beachy. But there is an element of that, like, seaside-y wood scent. I mean, it's exactly how it is described. Like a very ozonic, creamy, fresh wood scent like you're out by the beach. So this will be a nice bathroom scent for sure. And then you just have to see. He's now made his way into the brittle basket. I think this should be my... Um, I think this should be my thumbnail for that. What do you think? He is like, woo, we're going on a ride. Anyway, the next one is on the pier. Now, I could not find the scent descriptions for this on her Facebook group or online or anything like that, but I smelled it, and my nose, I don't think, is deceiving me. This is a dupe for Summer Boardwalk from Bath & Body Works. And if you're not familiar with Summer Boardwalk, all I'm going to say is, Charity, buckle up. You're going to need to buy a bunch of loaves in this. This is salty, creamy caramel, taffy apples, and salty sweet cream. It is a fabulous scent. I know that scent description from Bath & Body Works off by heart because it is my favorite candle. One of my favorite. That and pumpkin pecan waffles are just so decadent. So, Julie, if you're watching this, is this a summer boardwalk dupe on the pier? I'm 99.9% .9 sure it is, and if it is, brittles as like red, white, and blue, like red and blue splatters with like a white overpour for Summer Boardwalk, love. Like I think that would be so Americana, so perfect. We need that in brittles in the next pre-order. Speaking of pre-orders, I've talked about before how Sassy Girl Aroma works. She opens every couple weeks with a pre-order. Now they are not necessarily unlimited pre-orders. They are typically open for about a week, so you can order whatever you want within that week. But she does put a cap on the limit that she can make. I have to take him out because I don't want him ripping the bags. Um, she does put a limit on how many you can make, or how many she can make in that turnaround time. So definitely place your orders early. I am posting this video today, which is February 4th, which is Friday and her pre-order opened today. I will leave a link to her Facebook group down below. If you're watching this video and you want to order from Sassy Girl Aroma, these fragrances are not featured in the pre-order. However, there are so many amazing fragrances that are in her pre-order. I have 20 brittles on my list, 20 brittles and a couple loaves. P.S. IHOP is available in loaves and yes if you do see in the corner here those are my sassy girl aroma perfumes i want to like explore wearing them all before i make a video i also have some candles that are sitting in curing that i'm very excited to share on the channel but now i have a stack of brittles i have 15 brittles here to share with you and i do want to point out the way that julie packages your brittles in shipping is and Tyrell shout out to Tyrell and the whole sassy girl aroma team but it's like this thin sort of like 
I don't know if it's styrofoam paper or it's, it's like a thin foam paper. I'll have to bring it next time. And she essentially lays them flat and like ribbon candies them. So like she puts a brittle and then she takes a long piece of foam and like folds it, puts a brittle, folds it, etc. And she does them in like groups of four or five. I had a couple sets. The last set, which was closest to the box, they were all the brittles that broke. So... Only about four brittles, I think, in this order broke, and they just snapped like that. So that was probably the ones that, like, got shifted in the box, like, while it was in the post office. Again, not a big deal, but I do want to point out that, um, don't expect all your brittles to come perfect. They don't always come perfect, but, again, with these, they're still easy to store. They're not shattered like that one video. So, the first one I have here is Key West Bakery. Now, I will pop this one out because it's literally gorgeous. Like, look how pretty these brittles are. Julie, these are works of art, and that's the main reason. Like, the loaves are great. They're like her chunky loaves. I don't have any in this order, but they are, they're awesome too, but these brittles are just works of art. And Key West Bakery is graham cracker crust, cotton candy, blueberry, key lime pie and whipped cream I will say it's not super key lime pie it smells more like a key lime candy like a lime candy which I'm picking up most cotton candy whipped cream blueberry mmm it's definitely like a sweet candied lime is mainly what I get from it but again these were just poured she does not put pour dates on them, but I am today, because it is a snow day and our work got canceled, I am making little arrived on stickers for all of my brittles, and I'm going to spend the day labeling all my Sassy Girl Aroma brittles so I know when I got them, so I know when to melt them. But yeah, this one's really nice. I do want, Julie, if you are watching, I want like a really true, rich key lime pie. I know in the last order, I do have key lime zucchini, so I'm excited for that one. This one, Catherine King raves about this. I was so excited, I immediately got to. Anytime I see a scent that people are like, oh yeah, this sounds awesome. It's like super rave about and I see it offered, I do order two. And this is Smurfs in the Kitchen. And again, like look how beautiful, like her brittles are works of art. This is Blueberry Marshmallow Cookies birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla butter fudge. And if you know me, I love vanilla butter fudge. It's in some of my favorite blends. And this is no exception. In basic terms, it's a very rich blueberry bakery set. But the bakery that the blueberry is, is so decadent and like ooey gooey blueberry. Like this name could be ooey gooey blueberry, but her in the kitchen is marshmallow cookie birthday cake Twinkies and um, vanilla butter fudge. So it is like her signature bakery set mixed with blueberry. Oh, uh, I cannot wait to melt this. This is such a rich, like I said, rich gooey blueberry bakery. The only other brittle that I got two of is Top of the Muffin too, ya. Yeah? This one came fine, this one came snapped. And this is Banana Nut Bread, Pie Crust, Cornbread Muffin, and Graham Cracker. You know why I ordered it. The banana. Of course, the banana. And honestly, I definitely get Banana Nut Bread first. And some people think a Banana Nut Bread is Laffy Taffy Banana. Honestly, either way, I'm fine with it. But, as I smell it, very, very, very slightly in the back, I do get cornbread. It's nothing, it's nothing overpowering, so if you're not like a super big cornbread fan, I'd still give this a shot. It's good. It's, it's like a very rich banana nut bread, but that cornbread adds just a hint of that like more rich, like cakey vibe. Next, we have Judy, and also stunning, love the colors, and this is Twisted Pink Sugar Peppermint, Vanilla Cookies, and Marshmallow. And this really just smells like a peppermint sugar cookie. It just smells like a peppermint sugar cookie. This will be great for Christmas or nighttime to help sleep. Yeah, 
That's all I really get is like a really nice, it smells like a peppermint sugar cookie. I'm really happy with that one. Speaking of sleep, we have Mr. Sandman. This is also such a fun color. I don't have any brittles in my collection that have like this color wave, this like gray, teal, and navy color. And this is lavender chamomile, sweet lavender, and shaving cream. So I assume lavender chamomile, sweet lavender, and shaving cream. Chamomile's a note. I can take it or leave it in wax. It honestly doesn't do much for me. But you know I love uh, shaving cream. That's why I got this one. If you hear that, that's my neighbor shoveling. Shoveling the snow. You know I would never do that. Um... Yeah, I don't get a ton of shaving cream. I do smell it, though. It's not super predominant like it is in some other blends. And I pick up on sweet lavender. The chamomile kind of just, like, makes it very, very soothing and sleepy, perhaps. Yeah, it's nice. I like that the chamomile isn't super duper harsh. So, I'm happy about that one. Love, I love a good shaving cream blend. This was a last-minute add to my list because of the name. Pippi Longstockings. I love that movie growing up, Pippi Longstocking. And again, the teal, these vibrant colors. This order is so vibrant with the colors. And this says, peach meringue, strawberry, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. And cupcakes at Tiffany's, again, is like a vanilla cake with chocolate frosting, fruity buttercream, quote unquote, and toffee. This, that peach meringue and strawberry, it's not the same peach meringue that's in Date Night, which I'm so excited I got two brittles in my next pre-order. It's a very... The meringue is interesting because you pick it up. You definitely pick up meringue. It's kind of... It's kind of like marshmallow sweet, but you pick it up more than a marshmallow note in wax. Kind of like... Now that I'm smelling it, I'm like, I wish that... Meringue was mixed with more things than marshmallow because I seem to pick them up. Same with that like peppermint meringue that she had. I pick up on like that sweet meringue scent more than marshmallow. This is yummy and peach, strawberry, cupcakey, delicious goodness. This one is Major Dundee and this one is like it's kind of like a tan color on the back and then red and green and white on the front. Caramel pretzels, ice cream, scoop bread, raspberry brulee, sugar cookie dough, and zucchini. So we basically have like a raspberry bakery with caramel pretzels. You pick up on the pretzel, and it's a pretzel that I love. I love her pretzel. There's two pretzel set, three pretzel scents offered in this pre-order. One, off the rack, sounds really yummy. One is... Not Annabelle. Um, it starts with an A, and it's like a pretzel, green apple, salted caramel. Sounds really good. And then the one I am expecting everybody who does the Sassy Girl Room of Pre-Order Hall from this week that opens today, Out of the Bread Box. Because of Angela raving about Out of the Bread Box. I know Charity, me, and Catherine have it top of our list. I'm getting two brittles right away. I have to. This, that's mainly what I get is pretzel. The other notes, I'm really struggling to smell the raspberry. I'm like deeply inhaling to get raspberry, but I mainly get like a super salty pretzel. It's the pretzel I love. Yeah, and the other notes, I feel like zucchini. I can get zucchini. It cut me off, but way in the back, I can smell like the raspberry very slightly, but I'm excited to melt that one. That one definitely needs some cure time. And everybody says her bakery really comes out when you melt it. This one, never ending cycle. Another one that are just, these are just beautiful. She does such a beautiful job with these brittles. And this says, nothing better than crawling into bed with fresh, clean sheets. And I was curious, do you guys want me to do, this is just like a sweet laundry. Honestly, this is the, well, let me go back to my previous thought. 
do you guys want me to do like a shop with me when I do pre-orders just like on Instagram and if you don't follow me on Instagram definitely follow me I'll leave the link down below to my Instagram definitely give me a follow but um because on the pre-order, there's a sense that I really am curious about and like my thought process on how I place pre-orders. Let me know down below if you think that would be cool. She's offering a uh, laundry scent this round that says just freshly air-dried towels. That sounds right up my alley. I need to try. But let me know if that's something you'd be curious with. But never-ending cycle. <sighs> this is a very light laundry. Not saying it's not strong. But it's not like in your face laundry. Like some sense, when you smell laundry, it's like, oh, that is laundry. That's like you added two capfuls of detergent instead of one to the laundry. This is like a very soft laundry. This I feel like would be nice to put in your house when company's coming if you want a clean scent and not like a rich bakery without being offensive. Oh, this one. Dunkin' My Donut. Jelly Donut, Strawberry Marshmallow, Toasted Marshmallow. This one. This is heaven. This is rich, rich marshmallow strawberry. And the donut, you pick up on the yeastiness of the donut. This I would wear in a perfume. It's heaven. It is so good. Yep, it's like a strawberry bakery donut with marshmallow. And that marshmallow I also smell. That, like, toasted marshmallow, this is a winner. This, if it's offered in loaves, 100%. Charity, I hope you ordered that in this last pre-order because strawberry bakery, all up your alley. Speaking of strawberry bakery, this one pops Choc Lit Shop, and it's spelled like C H O C with a, like a like a apostrophe, and then Lit like L I T. So Pops Choc Lit Shop, Julie. Again, if you're watching, I'm asking you a lot of questions in this video. What is the reference on this name? I'm I'm just curious because it's strawberry shake cake and buttercream sprinkles. So it's kind of like those really gourmet strawberry milkshakes that have like a slice of cake inside. And that's exactly what it smells like. It's a very milky strawberry without being sugar milk, which I do not care for sugar milk. But, mmm, and the colors are so vibrant. Like, like literally, like that milkshake. There's even sprinkles in the white, which I love. Yeah, it's like a milky, milky, cakey strawberry milkshake. It smells just like those gourmet milkshakes. Heaven. Coffee shop. I'm determined to find my all-time favorite coffee from, um, from Julie from Sassy Girl Aroma, and I want to order all of them. So this one is Coffee Shop. It's next on the list. Blackberry, caramel, coffee, and zucchini bread. I've said it before, the Starbucks coffee, yes, I have not melted it yet, is a very bitter coffee to me. This, I don't smell that bitter coffee. It's a different, it definitely smells like a different coffee oil. Blackberry, 100%. You get that rich blackberry, super fruity, and not like the perfumey blackberry that's in Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. A much more fruity blackberry. And the zucchini bread is rich and decadent, like super, super moist, but not corn chippy, at least to me. And then that caramel coffee adds like that you're in a coffee shop element to it. Mm, this is good. There's no bad ones in this batch, by the way. Like, all 15 I ordered were perfection. Matthias. And this is strawberry bread Noel. So, strawberry bread mixed with vanilla bean Noel. Heaven. I love this. This has to be like a strawberry jam, because it's that jammy, like, uh, macerated strawberry scent that I just adore. I love this. I love bready scents. Like... These are my comfort scents. I don't know how anybody cannot like bakery. This is a comforting, comforting scent. It is. It's like a strawberry jam with fresh baked bread. Mm. And I can picture like going to a restaurant and getting homemade bread and that's still warm and putting fresh strawberry jam on top. Yum. 
And then the last one from this pre-order that I got is Bacon Flake. And this is Snickerdoodle Birthday Cake. I don't have a lot of Snickerdoodle fragrances. I'll be honest, like, in real life, when I see, like, a Snickerdoodle cookie, I'm like, that's the most boring cookie in the world. Like, a cinnamon sugar cookie. So boring. I never eat them. And honestly, this just smells like a very rich birthday cake. I'm not picking up on a lot of Snickerdoodle. And maybe because some Snickerdoodle scents that I smell are really heavy on the cinnamon sugar. And this is more heavy on the birthday cake. But yeah, this one just smells to me like a very rich, rich cinnamony or cinnamony, not cinnamony, a rich birthday cake. Like a rich, decadent, like this I feel like I can picture the cake too. That's where you put the fork in and it literally sticks to the fork. The cake is so moist, which I'm not complaining. I love that. This, this order just makes me so happy. I'm literally going to, like I said, spend my day putting all my labels on these with the arrival dates and just smelling all my, like, 50-some brittles that I have back here. Makes me super happy. But yeah, love these. There's so many good ones. I can't even tell you my favorite from this order. This is definitely, it was a smaller order for me, but definitely one that will go on the books of these were winners, and I really like them. And I promise I'm going to have a week where I melt nothing but sassy girl aroma so I can experience this throw that everybody's talking about that, like, blows me out of the house. I already did melt date night. Ah, so good. I did the mini muffin, and I cut it into eight pieces, put it through my warmers. Chef's kiss. Already a winner. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell down in the corner so that way you are alerted anytime I upload up in here. You matter. I love you all so much and have an amazing weekend. Bye guys.